Welcome to Build FPV, part two of this micro four inch long range drone. Where did that screw come from? Welcome to Build FPV, this is part two of us building this four inch micro long range. It's an Airblade transformer. And um, if you haven't seen part one, go check that out. So, GPS, just plug in right there and you'll have to f solder four wires, which is nice. And we're gonna do those into UART2. UART2. So, so UART2 is here, right there. First two? Yeah, yeah. which. And then power and ground, which will be up to here. So we're just gonna put the standoffs inside the little TPU here and dry fit the GPS. All right, we are well on our way. Our way. GPS is mounted, and now let's get the GPS wired up. Next, we are going to um, tin the pads. We're pads. using UART2, and we're doing, yeah, the GPS parts. UART2, uh, TX, T2, R2, and then the power's right here. Oh, right there. Okay. Do you want to cut these? Yeah, we definitely cut those because, like, look at, they only need to go to here. Alright. And then the next step after that is going to be we'll clean it, we'll test everything for shorts, we'll plug it in, make sure everything's functioning, and then after that, I think it's onto the air unit. Vista. Yeah, so this build takes the old Cadex Vista FPV. It's got the regular camera on it, but just kind of a stripped down air unit type thing. Quite a bit smaller than the air unit, which definitely wouldn't fit. I don't even know how this fist is gonna fit on the back. It's supposed to go right there. Oh, it's small, man. It does look small. Let's see how she goes. So we need red, black, yellow, white. So on the Vista, you can also, it's the same as the air unit, you can uh, control your DJI controller if you'd like to. So we don't need to do that, but, but you can do that. We're gonna be running Crossfire, so we don't, we don't need that. So we just need the four rock wires, which is five volt, ground, UART, this is the RX, and white is the TX. So these two aren't needed, so rather than chopping them and leaving them wild, what I'm gonna be doing is I'm gonna take the tip of my knife here, and I'm going to just pull up this little tab that's holding it in place, and I'm gonna take it right out. White is going to go to flight controller RX, and yellow, would equal TX on the flight controller. When we're installing it, yellow is actually UART RX and white is TX on the unit. Okay, let's get it on. And I'm just gonna work my way straight down. There we go. So I've tinned those pads. The other pads we're not using because we're not uh, using the DJI controller. So now we're going to work our way down. That's what the solder looks like there. All those are done. Again, those pads that we left off are more are for the S bus, which would be your DJI remote. If you're doing a DJI remote, you're going to want to use those other pads, but we don't need them. So let's put this in. I'll let you do that. So we need M20. M2, 20. M2 times 20. Uh, 
Next step is we, now that we've dry fit the air unit, we were about to attach it down, but then I realized that the uh, Immortal T, if you want to dig that out, needs to be mounted up from underneath. So what I'm going to do is we're going to figure out power for this bad boy. So red and black, they need to be cut right around almost full length. If you were doing another build and you had a DJI uh, HD ready flight controller, this might fit right into that flight controller. That's what this is for. But for us, this board's not meant for, or wasn't incorporated into HD. So those are going there. These are going here. And before we do that, we're gonna slide this guy up. Nice and gingerly. Do you have it coming through the wires? Yeah. Okay, good to know. And now, right here is where the UFL, U.FL is. It takes this, or it takes this. So you could use this, which it comes with, and just strap that on and stick this out the back. But we don't want to use this little mini antenna. Like, look how big that is compared to what we're going to strap on there because that should help us with some range. Although the Caddx Vista antenna is supposed to be really good. Okay. Now, we are ready to mount this. The, the dry fit of it. Solder is not complete for the Caddx Vista, but looking pretty good. Oh dude, it looks so tight. This is gonna get mounted kind of right here. This guy's gonna get mounted in here, like so. And then this guy needs to be powered off of 2S to 4S, and that's what I was just trying to confirm. So that means we can go right to the battery leads, but on this particular, on this particular build, if you look closely, which it's hard, getting harder to see, but right where the battery, right where the battery leads are, right in here, where they're coming in and actually attaching to the flight controller, leads are on the underside. So I'm scared if I put heat on top of that, that they're gonna pop off under the bottom. So in order to avoid that, the Vista is plugging into this right here, which is VBAT, which is just straight battery voltage. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna strip this down to bare wire, like it's pre-tinned right now, but we're gonna strip it down to bare wire, like so. We're gonna strip this thing down to bare wire, and when we pre-tin them, we're gonna tin them together. We're gonna twist them together and then tin them together. Mm. And then we're gonna put them on the same pad. Okay, so we've got red, and we're gonna do black. Okay, I'm feeling pretty good. You got two more to go, bud. We're not done yet. <laughs> Yellow connects to TX. So the next step that we want to do is we want to check out um, if we've got any shorts. Nothing there, switch it up. Should hear the cap go. Nothing. Nothing. Okay. Okay, make sure nothing's touching. Okay. All right. So we've got power there. The Vista's got power. GPS has power. Great. Mission, nice. mission successful. No shorts, everything turns on. That's a good start. Okay, so let's get this uh, wrapped up. Bust out the heat gun. Yeah, when I like to do these, I like to stick them across like that. Shrink it up. Shrink it up. Other side. I love the smell of burning plastic. 
You get used to it in the FPV world, don't you? Yeah. Perfect. And then that'll go like that. We don't have a standoff that fits in between here, which is the, um, this is gonna be the holder for the naked GoPro. So we're just gonna use two smaller standoffs and stick those in. I think we're gonna have to probably slide that forward so we don't see the, the case. Okay. And now, this guy's gonna go like that. Yeah, so this can just be like that. Okay, so what we need to do is figure out where this is gonna sit, because that's not right. Um, underneath and right Yeah, there. it needs to go underneath and come out this side. Yeah. Okay, throw some Uma grip on there. So let's before let's check it for shorts again. Okay, so that's good. Should we put do we put these on just to see how they look? Well, I won't screw them on. But I will. Hundred and eighty seven. It'll be over with that. Yeah? Yeah. 260. By 10 grams. By 10 grams. So technically you're breaking the law. 256. Oof. Painful. What could you remove? Yeah, you could take the GPS off. You could take us, make us put a smaller antenna on. I would probably take off a couple grams. Yeah. Like we should try it with a matchstick maybe. But for now, we're good. Plug it in. So... We want to take these off because we're going to test the motors, right? Oh, you're going to plug it right in and just see if it goes? Yeah. Sweet, do it. Should I smoke stop it? Uh, you should smoke stop it. And then I'd also like to see if you can get your um, GoPro to work. No smoke. I see. I saw that lit up for a second. It flashed. Yeah, boy. Yeah. Naked GoPro. Okay. Movement's going proper. So we're checking the accelerometer. Let's give her the old calibration. It's running 4.1, so I'm cool with that. So let's go for it. UART1 is our nano. Um, we definitely don't want TBS smart audio. Uh, UART2 is our GPS. So sensor, GPS. Okay. And you have to turn on this right here, which is the configuration MSP. It's actually a soft serial that's not an actual UART. So, anyways, this is this turning this on is what's going to allow the OSD to show up on your DJI goggles. Okay, save that and reboot it. We gotta go auto connect, and then we want expert mode on. Okay, supports are good. Configuration D Shot 600. Uh, I'm not going to set up RPM filtering yet. We'll do that later. Um, Draft name. Let's change that from beta FPV. I don't, this needs I don't know. to be four. Craft name is going to be. What do you want to name her? Mini Send? Yeah, sure. Mini Send. Okay. Um, this is that. That is Crossfire. Okay. Um, GPS is on. Do you want to change the protocol, don't we? Protocol changes to U blocks. Um, telemetry, display, air mode, transponder, all that is good. <laughs> that's what we want. All that's on. We'll take that off so it doesn't beep. Save and reboot. Okay, battery, current, draw. We don't need that. Don't need that. Average cell is what I like. RRSI. Crosshairs, don't need that. Fly mode, don't need that. GPS satellites, we need that. Speed, Longitude, latitude. Direction. So we'll just throw all these on here for now. Throw that in there. Direction could be nice. Uh, home direction is good. Home distance is good. Link quality doesn't work. Timer one's good. Or timer two. And over here, timer two is total armed time. Okay, save that. And then video transmitter, we don't need sensors, none of that. And then he said CLI, 
you have to type in, what does it say? Resource. Motor 5. Capital motor. Uh, none. And then we're gonna go for Okay. Resource serial TX11. And that's an underscore. Resource. Serial. S-E-R-I-A. Underscore, underscore TX. Yeah. 11. Space 11? Yeah, space 11. B03? Space B03. Space in between. Yep, good. Then we're gonna do resource again. This time we're gonna do motor 6. None. Same way you typed it before. And then resource again. This time serial T or RX instead of TX. Okay. And then 11 again, like space to 11, and then space B10. That's the soft serial. And then... Okay, so that's done. And then we should check the motors, make sure they're... Okay, so we're done here. Disconnect from there. Okay, so we are just going to check the motors and see which way they're spinning. So motor three is the right way. Motor four is the wrong way. Motor five, or two That's is good. the right way. One and four. One and four. Okay. Now we're opening B-Heli configurator to just change motor one and four directions. Okay, there we go. Plug her in. Oh. Always gotta plug the battery in when you're doing ESC reads. Yes indeed. Beta flight, there's a lot of stuff you can do without plugging the battery in, but the ESC needs power. Okay, reading the setup. So we said motor one. And four. So it's right now it's normal motor direction. We're gonna go reversed. And number four, motor direction, reversed. Right setup. And it's gonna read the setup Boom. and we're good. Disconnect. Okay, so that's good. So the last thing that we need to talk about is battery choice for this size build. Um, the th here's what we're planning on testing out. I'm sure we'll probably try testing out a few other things in the future. But for this we have an 850 3S, we have a 550 4S, and then we're going to build a 4S uh, lithium ion, which this is going to be 3000 milliwatts. Because be lithium ion are a lot more energy dense, so this battery right here is going to put us into like the 3000 range, which these are Sony VT6. So I'm gonna build this and then that's like, on tune day we'll be testing this battery and these two batteries and seeing what kind of range uh, and performance we can get out of them. So other than that, that'll do it for us. If you want a chance not to win this guy, if you want a chance to win the Airblade Transformer Mini uh, long range frame that we're giving away, um, also with a set of props, you can go back to our first uh, part of this two-part build series and like subscribe and comment on the video and we'll choose one of those How long should we wait? Maybe wait till the fourth video? Yeah Like a month. Yeah, I think we'll wait probably like a month So let people kind of get a chance to watch the video and uh, We will give it away to one of the people uh, who's liked and commented and subscribed to our channel Share with video. your friends. Share with your friends. Get it out there. So anyways, if we're not at a thousand subscribers and you're watching this video right now, um, that means we have a second uh, giveaway going. So go to our very, very first video on this channel and it'll be the first build part series to this and you can enter by liking, commenting, and subscribing and enter to win this. So other than that, thanks for watching. Thanks for getting to this end of the video with us and we will see you next time. Bye.